Welcome back to the Counselor Soapbox video channel. Today we're going to take a look at sedatives, hypnotics, and anxiolytics. These are drugs which have legitimate uses but are often abused also. Sedatives, hypnotics, and anxiolytics are on different schedules. Some are Schedule II, requiring a triplicate prescription and a DEA number by the prescribing physician. Others are Schedule Three and Four. GHB is an unusual one in that it is scheduled on Schedule Three for prescription use, but Schedule One, no one should be doing this for recreational use. This family or category of drugs includes hundreds of drugs, but only a very few are commonly prescribed. We're going to look at general sedatives, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, sleep medication, and also GHB. Sedatives can have some very disturbing side effects. Possible side effects include anxiety, nightmares, hostility, and even rage. It's also possible to take an overdose of these medications. When they are combined with a second drug or alcohol, the use of these medications can be fatal. Sedatives can have some very dangerous combinations. Whenever they are combined with any central nervous system depressant, especially alcohol, the opiates, inhalants, or other sedative drugs, all of these interactions can be fatal and cause death. People often look for a medication as a way to reduce their anxiety. The first choice is often alcohol. Most sedatives that are used recreationally are diverted from medical sources, and their potency can vary considerably. General sedatives. Barbiturates can increase the neurotransmitter GABA inhibitory effect. They vary a lot in their strength, dosage, and effect, sometimes causing excitation instead of relaxation. Tolerance builds for other drugs, we call this cross-tolerance, and taking these medications can speed up the metabolism of other drugs. Sedatives, tolerance and withdrawal. Definitely, tolerance builds to sedatives. Also, stopping suddenly can trigger epileptic seizures. When they are used for anxieties, there can be rebound anxiety that is worse than before if you stop taking these medications suddenly. Benzodiazepines. These drugs are effective for treating anxiety. They're fairly safe unless they are combined with another central nervous system depressant. People often forget that both alcohol and sleeping pills are depressants of the central nervous system. So benzodiazepines should not be used with alcohol or alcohol should not be consumed when taking these medications. Benzodiazepines for anxiety are one of the most commonly prescribed drugs. Some problems with the use of benzodiazepines. There's a risk of death if combined with another central nervous system depressant. Also, people experience significant drowsiness, muscle incoordination, learning problems, amnesia, and even blackouts when under the influence. There are warnings about taking benzodiazepines and driving or operating heavy machinery as people may do it but not be aware of the risks they are taking. Sleep medications come in a variety of types. Ambien is one of the newer ones, which while it is not a benzodiazepine, fits into those receptors and may uh, induce sleep. It can produce amnesia, blackouts, anytime it is in the bloodstream. So 
any sleeping medication should be used only briefly and as needed. Uh, taking sleep medications can result in things like sleep driving, sleep eating, sleep sex, or sleep emailing in which people do things but have no memory the next day. There are even reports of criminal activities with no memory. Also, taking sleep medications can result in a rebound of insomnia if you suddenly stop taking the sleep medication. Other sleep medications include Lunesta, whose effects are similar to Ambien, Rosarem, which increases sleep by affecting the melatonin receptors, and other herbal sleep meds uh, can cause related problems. GHB used to be widely available. Overdose can result in death. It was banned for the over-the-counter sales in the United States, though it can still be prescribed for narcolepsy. GHB can become addicting and may be quite toxic. There are issues with GHB, both tolerance and withdrawal. Tolerance builds and builds rapidly. People taking this drug may not be able to sleep without taking a dose every two to four hours. Withdrawal includes rebound insomnia, an increase in anxiety, and possibly even psychosis. Physical symptoms uh, may develop, which include tremors, agitation, uh, high heart rate, and an increase in blood pressure. And detox from this medication may require medical attention. Thanks for watching another Counselor Soapbox video. What's ahead? More drug education videos, many about specific drugs. Also, some mental health and wellness videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button, which is directly below this. Comments are always appreciated. And to receive new videos in this series, uh, please subscribe to the Counselor Soapbox video channel. Thanks for watching the Counselor Soapbox video channel. For more information on this and related issues, please visit the CounselorSoapbox.com blog, where you'll find over 1,500 text articles on mental health, substance abuse, and having a happy life. The David Joel Miller fiction and nonfiction books are now available on a wide variety of ebook sellers' platforms. The photos here are all courtesy of Pixabay and Wikimedia and are licensed under the CCO Creative Commons free for commercial use, no attribution required license. Thanks again for watching.